And I think the main thing is that I just genuinely like don't feel stressed about money anymore. That is the main thing for me. There is enough stress in the world without also feeling stressed about money. So the fact that I have like worked on my mindset and my relationship with money and how I feel about money to get to this point is something that I wish for all of you. Bonjour everybody, I'm Sarah Akwasombi and today in this video we're going to be talking about how to manifest anything you want. Anything. So in this video I'm going to be taking you through three really quick and easy hacks to manifest anything you want. These are things that you can do today in 30 seconds or less. You don't need any equipment, maybe a pen, but that's it. You just need your mind, the power of the mind. Disclaimer, I'm just gonna say, this isn't a video that's like, you can manifest this overnight, make money in five minutes, because let's be real, it doesn't always work like that. The universe doesn't always work like that. Life just doesn't work like that. And if I was putting stuff out there like that, I would be feeding you a lie. And I don't wanna do that. I wanna give it to you real, raw, how it is. But these are things that if you implement them today, you will start seeing a difference because not only will it help you manifest anything you want, into your life, it will also help you be a more upbeat, optimistic, jazzy, glass half full kind of person that everybody wants to hang out with. I don't know about you, but I don't wanna be a fucking Debbie Downer. I wanna be happy and hyper like I am today because the sun is out and it's giving me all the feels. Do this right, you'll start seeing not only that you can start to manifest things, but also that you're just a joy to be around. Before we get into it, please do take a moment to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell so you get notifications whenever I make a new video. I am making new videos every week and you can just get more of this joy into your life every week. You might be wondering who I am and why I'm even qualified to talk to you about manifesting. I mean, is anyone ever qualified to talk about manifesting? But anyway, I have written a book on the subject so I think that makes me qualified. I'm a Sunday Times best-selling author. Did you hear that? Sunday Times best-selling author. The money is coming was my mantra when I didn't really have any money. It has got me to a very amazing point in my life. Let me tell you a bit about it. I'm an entrepreneur. I have two businesses. One is an online business school. The other is called Boss Magic London and it's where we sell things like these Boss Magic oracle cards, crystals, candles, all things that you need to ground yourself spiritually as a busy entrepreneur because I know how important it is when you're making those power moves to fucking have a little bit of headspace and time out and connect with the universe because it's madness out there and if you don't have something to ground you, you will lose your mind. It's happened to me before, but that's for another video. In terms of my life, I went from earning about 18 grand a year and being really like unfulfilled and unhappy in my job to starting my own business, building a 700,000 pound turnover business empire Yes, I'm gonna call it an empire because it fucking feels like I've built an empire in the last five years. Slight exaggeration, but let's call it an empire. And I get to do what I love every day. I've got my dream house, my dream car. I've built this incredible garden studio that I now get to work in every day. I get to buy cool stuff like tracksuits and trainers whenever I feel like it. Although today I am wearing this a fantastic pair of mint Crocs. Oh yeah. And I think the main thing is that I just genuinely like don't feel stressed about money anymore. That is the main thing for me. There is enough stress in the world without also feeling stressed about money. So the fact that I have like worked on my mindset and my relationship with money and how I feel about money to get to this point is something that I wish for all of you. And I have a course that teaches this as well called Money and Manifesting that I run with my money manifesting coach, Jen. We run it about every six months or so. You'll learn about all this stuff the more you come into the world if you hit subscribe. Let's get stuck into these hacks that are gonna help you every single day manifest the life that you want and things that you want. Whatever you want can be yours if you just put your mind to it. Let's get stuck into it. I think I've said that already. Tip number one. 
This is a fucking cliche. I'm just going to tell you now. You need to write it down. You need to write down what you want to manifest. If you have not written it down or stuck a picture of it on a vision board or a picture of it on your laptop or saved it as your home screen or whatever, if you haven't written it down somewhere, it's not going to happen. I'll tell you why. It's not some magical thing that happens when you write it down. Oh, the universe gets a notification. Bing! And then God or the universe or whoever says, oh, hey, Sarah, you wrote down you want a laptop. I'm going to give it to you. You plot. That's not how it works. What happens is you are bringing something that is like a subconscious desire up into the conscious realm of your brain. And once you bring something from the subconscious up into the conscious of your brain, it's very hard to ignore. And your brain gets very obsessed with that thing and it will start seeing it everywhere and it will start thinking about it more just because you've written it down or you've got a picture of it in front of you. The more you can see it and focus on it. So if you write it down somewhere, you're going to see it every day or put it on a picture somewhere you're going to see it every day a vision board whatever we can talk about vision boards in another video just put it somewhere you're going to see it every day because you're literally helping it rise up bubble up from the subconscious into like a little flower that's going to bloom in your conscious and then what's going to happen is your brain's going to start finding ways to make that happen for you that might mean that you get an idea about how to get it say you want a burberry trench coat i don't know why that was one of the things i thought of i think this was one of the things I tried to manifest very early on. You might be like, I don't know how I'm ever going to get that. Seems out of reach, yeah? But then if you talk about it and write it down and also like tell people, you will be so surprised at how people go, oh, I know someone that works at Burberry and they've got a 50% discount. This actually genuinely happened to me. I never bought the trench. I can't remember why. I think I just went off it. You'll find that there's people out there who will try and help you make it happen. Or your brain might go, hang on, a Burberry trench is 300 quid. No idea if a Burberry trench is 300 pounds. Probably not. I've got those bunch of old records that my dad gave me in the garage and if I put them on eBay I might be able to start making some money towards this. Your brain will start trying to work on it for you so that's why you need to write it down, keep it consistent, see it all the time. The more you see it the more you think about it the more likely it is going to happen. Okay, so the second one, and this feeds on quite nicely from the first one, is instead of going, oh, that's a fantasy, one day I'll have that, but I can't think about when that's going to happen. I can't see how it's going to happen. Ask your brain to come up with ideas of how it could happen. That's all you need to do. Just say to your brain, I want a Burberry trench. I need to change this because then I feel like a Burberry trench is going to show up in my life that I don't even want. What else do I want? I want an Aries Arise tracksuit. This tracksuit is £600. I have the money to buy it if I wanted to buy it. I just kind of want it to appear in my life somehow. I don't know how. Then I'm going to say to my brain, how can you get this? So what you're doing is you're opening up your brain. Instead of having a closed mentality or a closed mind, like when people talk about having a closed mind, literally imagine your brain is like a little box and you're closing it to ideas. You're closing it to any opportunities or ideas coming in. I believe stuff comes in from the ether into your brain. We're just like channels to receive information. And if you close it, then no ideas are going to come in. Whereas if you say I'm going to open my mind and say how can I get this Aries Arise tracksuit brain give me some ideas and you don't even need to sit there and write them out you just plant the seed again brain give me some ideas then what's going to happen when you're in the shower one day <laughs> you're going to get that idea that plops into your brain that goes, oh, you could do X, Y, Z, or you could sign up to their, see, I'm already having it. You could sign up to their newsletter and then you could see when it goes on sale and get it a half price. And your brain will start coming up with ideas. I'm already sitting here now thinking of two things I have in my wardrobe that I'm going to sell and then buy that. I should probably put that money into stocks or something, but tracks is kind of more exciting. Be like a little alert pigeon. I don't know why I put it in. And just wait for it. And then when you see it, go for it. And when you have something then come into your brain or you have something like you bump into someone who happens to work at the place of the thing you're trying to manifest or, you know, has a friend who's single if you're trying to manifest a boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever. Don't close your eyes to it and go, oh, that's just a coincidence. It's not a coincidence. That is the universe going, oh, you said you wanted that thing. Here it is. And if you don't fucking pigeon it, it's gonna Okay, before I continue on, I would just like for you to write me a comment below. Let me know, are you enjoying this video? Is this helpful so far? I know it is. 
you know it's like good for engagement and all that algorithm bullshit please 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 just write me a comment saying this is fucking great video the greatest video i've ever seen the third tip which you were so eagerly beaverly waiting for is once you know the thing you're trying to manifest you have to and i cannot stress how important this is you have to do the first step and now you will like what is that? Research, research, research. If I say I'm trying to manifest a holiday to Japan, right? I know it's gonna be expensive. I really wanna go. I know I'm gonna need like tens of thousands of pounds to do it how I want and buy all the kitsch little things that I wanna bring back. And my daughter's gonna need to take an extra suitcase because of the amount of anime crap she's gonna wanna buy. Sorry to an any anime fans, it's not crap. It's actually very cool. It's gonna be a lot of money. It's gonna be a lot to organize. But if I'm genuinely genuinely saying I want to manifest a trip to Japan then I need to write it down ask the universe how it can happen ask my brain how can we make this happen and then thirdly I need to do the research so instead of just leaving it at that point and going oh I want to go on holiday to Japan get an idea of how much that costs research the flights research hotels research the areas you want to stay in I'm literally telling myself this because I haven't done any of this yet and I need to do it research roughly how much people need to spend, where you might go when you go there and do that trip. Do I need someone to interpret for us as a family? Do we need a guide? Whatever. Do the research because then you're making it a reality. Like you're making it something that you're doing and you're expecting it to happen. Expect it to happen. Don't leave it in the place of, oh, one day we'll go to Japan. Have you started doing any of the research for it? No, nothing. Go and actually start doing the first thing that you need to do because then you actually have the facts and the information. Okay, okay, it costs, it costs, this, costs much. this much. It takes it this takes long to get here. This, this is where I want to go, blah, blah, blah. And then you have that information there, whether even anything's happening with it right now, but you have a realistic idea. So if you're then like, okay, that trip's going to cost me 10 grand. Guess what? You've got 10 grand. Now your brain's going to start working out how it can make this happen for you. And then sometimes, ever so strangely, call it coincidence, call it synchronicity, call it the universe, magic, whatever, stuff will just start showing up that is in alignment with the thing that you are trying to manifest. I promise you, things will start showing up, whether it's a leaflet comes through your door about holidays to Japan, or someone posts the thing saying, oh, I've got this Airbnb in Tokyo or whatever. Whatever it is, stuff will start showing up because you're there and you're looking for it. Your perception is like tuned to, you know, people in the law of attraction talk about you being tuned to the vibration of the thing. I don't know if I fully believe or get that. I just think that when your brain is like honed in on something, it will pick up and sense when things are being talked about that fit that, when we're focused on it. And as I said, when you see it all the time, when you've written it down, when you're talking to your friends about it, when it's something that you see all the time, you're so much more likely to then notice those things. And I just believe that that's what manifestation is. I don't know if I believe it's magic. This is what I talk about in my book is like, is it magic? Is it just our brains subconsciously doing stuff? I don't fucking know. I don't think anyone knows. The point is, even if it's just a case of your brain is now tuned in to like looking for those things, that is all you need. Try it out, see what happens. I wanna hear from you. I wanna say guarantee, but I can't say that because legally I cannot guarantee anything. But I would be pretty surprised if you don't see this start working for you very quickly. Sometimes very fast, sometimes takes time. Who knows? If it'll take a day, who knows if it'll take a year. But either way, it's coming to you if you just put your mind to it. Okay, so let's recap. The three things you need to do. One, write it down or put a picture up somewhere. Focus on it all the time. Look at it, tell people, have it on your phone, have it on your laptop, make it your password, whatever. Just keep it around you because then when you get the money to do it or you get some like weird coincidental thing, you're gonna act on it. The second thing to do is ask your brain to help you. Say to yourself, find ways, brain, you are smart, you are clever, you are amazing, you are successful. Find me ways to make this happen. You will be so surprised what your brain comes up with. The important thing, a 2B point, if you will, is that when you do get those moments or those flashes of inspiration, please act on them. Remember the pigeon? Beak. 
And then point three is do the first step. The first step being the research. Get all the information you need to help your logical brain understand how much it's gonna cost, how you might get it, what you could do to try and bring it closer to you. Do you know somebody? Do you need a certain amount of money? Do you need to be in a certain place? Do the research, make it a reality, bring it forward, bring it up from the bubbles of your subconscious into your conscious brain. And your conscious brain likes evidence, logic, and all that boring things, but it will help you make it happen. Okay, so if that has been helpful for you or you've just found it fun and entertaining, then please do go and get my book. There is plenty more like this. This is actually your guide to manifesting more money. And there's like a 10 step system that I follow in here to manifest things that I want. And I would say it's been pretty damn successful so far. Please do leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, go and check out my other videos all around spirituality, business and entrepreneurship. I hope you've enjoyed this. Go forth and manifest and bring me back your wins.